Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with recurrence relations, uh, is going to concentrate on uh, the solution, the closed form solution, how to identify the closed form solution for a linear uh, homogeneous degree two, degree two uh, recurrence relation. Okay? And the particular recurrence relation that we're going to concentrate on uh, looks something like this. It's the nth term is equal to twice the previous term plus three times the term that precedes, uh, precede, precedes the previous term. Uh, with initial solutions, a zero is equal to one and a one is equal to two. Let's just keep in mind that this particular recurrence that we have defined here is of the form, it's of the form a n uh, is equal to, let's say, uh, a times a n minus one plus some other number b times a n minus two. With initial conditions, uh, a zero is equal to, let's say, uh, is equal to small a, uh, and let's say a1 is equal to small b. Okay? So this particular recurrence, the form, you clearly see that it's linear in the sense that uh, each of the preceding terms, uh, the a n minus 1 and the a n minus 2, are only part of terms on their own. Okay? Uh, it's homogeneous because each of the preceding terms are raised to the same power. There's no other term in here that has a higher power, it has constant coefficients. The constant coefficients are a and b, in this case, 2 and 3. And in particular, it's of degree 2 because the nth term is defined in terms of the previous two terms. Now, what we know is from a previous video, okay, we know that from a previous video that we have a particular solution to this particular system, the closed form solution is given in terms of the characteristic uh, equation uh, for this particular system, uh, which we're not going to define here, but we're just going to get into the solution. So the solution is effectively of the form, the solution okay, uh, is of the form, it's of the form, the nth term a n is equal to some number c times or one to the power of n plus some other number d times or two to the power of n, where where or one and or two are solutions are solutions okay, to the characteristic to the character char characteristic uh, polynomial polynomial uh, and the characteristic polynomial is of the form uh, r squared uh, minus a times r minus b times uh, minus b equals zero okay so if we want to find the r okay what we're going to do is we're going to look at the recurrence that's provided we're going to take the coefficient of the first term okay uh, which is the a we're going to take the coefficient of the second term, which is the b, and we're going to solve this particular characteristic polynomial. Uh, and what that provides us with is it provides us with two roots that are going to go into this particular nth term. But then we need to find a c and d, okay, where c and d, okay, where c and d are determined, are determined, okay, based on the initial solutions, based on the initial, the initial solutions to the system. Okay, and the initial solutions in this case, uh, well, in the general cases, a zero is a particular value and a one is a particular value. So what we'll have is a system of equations that we're going to solve for c and d, which effectively will give us uh, the full closed form answer. So let's start this particular solution for this particular example. So let's start the solution. So our solution. Well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the characteristic polynomial. Okay, so in this case, we have, don't forget the characteristic polynomial. Uh, is r squared minus a r minus b must be equal to zero. And in our case, uh, the coefficient of the, the first term that precedes the nth term okay, is two, so that's our a. And the coefficient of the second term that precedes the nth term is a three, so that's our b. So our characteristic polynomial is r squared minus two r minus three equals zero. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve this for r. So we're gonna solve for r. Uh, and what we have here is, well, the factors of this, uh, uh, you can actually see that what we have is we have or, uh, or minus, minus one, sorry, or plus one, so or plus one times or 
minus three equals zero is the solution to this because r times r gives me r squared. R times minus three gives me minus three r. But here we have a plus r. Uh, so we'll end up with minus two r and then plus one times minus three gives us the three. So we, we're just factoring this. I just sort of just pulled this out of the sky here, but you're just going to use whatever technique you have in your armory uh, to factor this particular quadratic, okay? So this characteristic polynomial here is a quadratic when we have a degree two uh, system recurrence. Uh, uh, if it was a degree three recurrence, we would have a cubic system.